All right. Let's see what's happening here, everybody. I believe I have all my settings appropriate to hang out with you guys and talk Cowboys football. Did you guys know that the Cowboys signed Martavis Bryant? I bet you guys knew that. Did you know that my conversation and talk about it is brought to you by my friends at Bet Online? You might have known that, but you might not. All the pro sports leagues are going now. Bet Online, top spot for all of your action this season. Uh, you, you get the uh, you get the old app on your phone. It's your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions. Everything NBA right there at your fingertips. All hoops, UFC, college football, NHL, whatever you need, it's at Bet Online. So head to Bet Online today and remember to use our promo code Believe for your fifty percent welcome bonus on your first deposit. It's Bet Online where the game starts. Cowboys are going to beat the Giants by a million points this week. What's the spread? Sixteen and a half. I have no advice on that. That's a giant effing number. That's a huge number. But welcome. Welcome to my house. I hadn't been live in a while. There's people in here asking questions. Did you hit the Kavanaugh drop already? I did not. Here you go. Kavanaugh! What's wrong with our run game? Mm-hmm. If you bet online on those Fergie props, you were a happy person Sunday. Wait, you need to move your mic to the left a little. Settings are not right otherwise. What? To the left. Well, let me look at it. I don't believe you guys. Where do you want it there? Where do you want it? I moved my camera back a little bit. Just a touch. So many typos. Did I make typos? Did I spell things wrong? What did I do? Are you telling me I did something wrong? Don't tell me I did something wrong. Party at Jeff's in the pool fund. Formula's in the building, baby! KG, what's going on, Jeff? How are you? How's therapy treating you? Therapy has been kick-ass the last, like, six weeks. How did the butt tat feel? Okay, okay, okay. I hadn't been live in a while, and I was just going to get in bed and read a book because the sun goes down too early now. Um, But I decided I'd pop on and at least talk about Martavis Bryant a little bit. And sure, we can go through all these other things. Does Gallup need to be benched? What's going on with the run game? All the different thingy, thingy, thingies. KG with a party at Jeff's Pool Fund. Those are two OGs of the channel since the, what were we, 14 percenters, 16 percenters? That means that you are not only subscribed to the channel, but you have notifications turned on so you don't miss when I go live. That's what that meant. And now we had the drive for 35K, 35,000 subscribers, and we made it. Nah. So we have to come up with a... New number and catchphrase. Thrifty for 50. 40, 30, 40, 50. We'll come up with something. We all think the front office are good at their jobs, but why didn't they see what Ferg could do like all of us did? They might have. They might have. We're not. What we're not going to do is poo-poo on Dalton Schultz right now. Like, as you can see, he's still doing well in Houston. He's a good tight end. He's a good player. Ferg looks like he's turned into one too, which is kick-ass. Um, let me do Martavis Bryant first. Can I bang through Martavis Bryant? And Ryan is in here in the chat. All he ever wants to do is mock draft. It's too early. We're not mock drafting yet. Jesus. Jesus. Um, first things first. First things first. Oh, by the way, it's one of my Evan Carter rookie cards back there. We also have a Justin Fields and a Trevor Lawrence. I own a grand total of five cards. Like I have a bunch of other random ones that people gave me, but I've bought. Five cards that are worth real money. I'm in the game, baby. Look at these people with the memberships. You guys are badass. I love you guys. Tolbert is wide receiver three. Okay, so here, let's do this. Thoughts on JT and KT replacing MG's snap somewhat. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Martavis Bryant. Ready? I've seen people talking about Martavis Bryant and like what he's going to bring to the Cowboys in the red zone and the touchdowns he's going to score and all that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Here's what we're doing. The Cowboys are doing what they, what Steven Jones talks about. Well, you know, at the end of the day, 365, 24, seven, um, a dude who's been suspended for what a half decade is reinstated by the NFL who once upon a time, had something good, and they're taking a look. That's what they're doing. 
Could Martavis Bryant contribute to the Cowboys on the 53-man roster and then be active and then play some snaps? He could. Should we expect that? We shouldn't. Because since the end of his NFL stint, there was arena, the fan-controlled football, and the XFL where he didn't put up numbers. Don't assume that Martavis Bryant is going to show up here and go take people's snaps. What he's going to do is he's going to show up to practice on the practice squad. And if he looks good, cool. And if the fact that he's taller than all of our receivers and in theory once upon a time ran a 4 4 40 if that's still there and it looks like he could help you in some sort of way, then they'll let him try. I have zero expectations that Martavis Bryant is going to bring something on Sundays to the Cowboys, and you shouldn't either. If he does, cool. This is, oh, we don't really have a tall guy. Oh, can he still run? And they worked him out, and it's like, oh, he can still run. Okay, let's see. This is let's see. That's what Martavis Bryant is. It's let's see. That's what Fish said. What did Fish say? I don't know what Fish said. No, so, and then to Formula's question. Let me see. Let me get through all these. Okay. And then to Formula's question, like the better odds are that what you're going to see at wide receiver is Jalen Tolbert is going to keep taking Michael Gallup's snaps. And hopefully, Kevontae Turpin gets a few too. Uh, I had to get Gallup's numbers. I think he was, don't quote me on this one, high 30s, around 40 snaps last week, and Jalen Tolbert was 31. So they know. They know what's going on. And Jalen Tolbert, he's going to get some of them. And he's going to get some more of them. And if he keeps producing, then he's wide receiver three. Um, And if not, honestly, it'll probably just go back to Gallup. But I would like them to mix in Turpin. I want them to mix in a dude that can run a little bit. That's what I want to do. That's my goal. Um, But Martavis Bryant, yeah, he's here to, we'll find out. We'll find out. I know Galpa struggled, but he's still better than Kevin Turner, KT. Oh, Kevontae Turpin. Man, I was trying to get Turpin to play more snaps right after he made, was it his touchdown play or was it the next week he made a different play? And I was like, yeah, let's get him some more snaps. And then he falls started like immediately after that. So maybe there's a reason he doesn't play a ton of wide receiver snaps. I don't know. Could Gallup get cut? The problem with cutting Gallup is that it would cost you a butt ton of money. Could they do it next off season as a post June one? They could. And then it's not that big a deal because they have almost no dead money. And he would be like five if you did it that way. He'd be 10 or 11 if you just straight up cut him. I was shocked they restructured him, but everybody wanted to go all in. This is the Cowboys all in. They restructured even guys that they shouldn't have because they should have known that there was a good chance they'd want to rid themselves of Michael Gallup and his contract after the season. And they restructured him anyway, which is fine. We're just doing accounting. You did what you had to do to save money this year to add players. And if it means that you eat money next year and his dead money, then fine. That's the trade you made. It's whatevs. Turpin is still a hell of a return though. He show is, do we miss Zeke? I don't think you miss Zeke. I mean, Zeke is still exactly what he was last year. He is a slightly below replacement level running back. I'm a somewhat believer in the fun metrics with running backs, and one of them is rushing yards over expected based on how many people are in the box, what it looks like at the snap, blah, 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 blah. What do you do? And per usual, his rushing yards over expected is actually under expected in New England this year. The problem is, is that Tony Pollard's are under this year too. We got two problems there. One, they don't run block real well right now. And two, I don't see the same juice that Tony Pollard had before he hurt his self. I don't see that. Um, okay, next thing I got to get to. Is it worth giving a Doga a shot at right tackle and concern about steel question mark from Vance and Joe? Two of the same thing, right? So, sure, let's go through this. Am I concerned about Terrence Steele? Absolutely. Um, like he just had a Chaz Green game. I know Chaz gave up, what did he give up, six sacks in his game? But, I mean, Terrence gave up four. And he was also giving up pressures on a ton of plays. So he didn't give up as many sacks, but I bet you he gave up as many pressures or more, and he gave up four sacks. Yes, Terrence Steele is a problem. But part of the problem is the Cowboys have a tendency to put a lot of blind faith that hurt guys are going to be okay 
especially if they like that guy. Like Jerry and Steven didn't like Amari Cooper, so they got rid of him. A couple of different things. One, they didn't like that he couldn't practice all that much because he was always banged up. They didn't like that. And then we're not going to talk about COVID on Jeff's Cowboys channel stream. But they didn't like that either. Um, so the guys they don't like, they get rid of. And the guys they do like, they give contracts to. And, like, I get it. I like Terrence Steele, too. I like Michael Gallup, too. I promise. I like the people a ton. But to devote multi-year contracts with big money to guys before you've seen them come back from their blown-out ACLs, or in Tony Pollard's case, it was tough because his contract, you know, it's up. What are you going to do? So you tag him. It's one year, whatever. That one's not as big a deal. But the multi-year deals with a bunch of guaranteed money, without having seen them, ye. And then I'll go another thing with Steel. Here's another thing I got with Steel that I don't love. Here's what I don't love. Uh, I don't love that Terrence Steele and Dom, I'm going to get to your Dak question in a second. I don't like, where's I going with the Terrence Steele thing? Oh, David Moore. I saw David Moore. And here's something you need to know about the Cowboys. If David Moore says something that is beyond a report of what a beat writer says, like a beat writer talking about who practiced, what did that look like, et cetera, et cetera. When he starts offering opinions about things that the Cowboys might do, like moving a guy positions, whatever, 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 Jerry likes the newspaper. He still reads the newspaper. So Jerry will give things to the newspaper guys. So when you see David Moore tweeting about the idea that they might be looking at Terrence Steele at guard, you can read into that, that there's something there. But it's weird. Because even if you do think that Terrence Steele would be better at guard, which I get it. Totally get that, because if you have a guy that on the outside is not a very good pass protector, but he's a super good run blocker, which he was last year and the year before, this year he's not good at either one because he's not back yet. Um, you paid him right tackle, long-term money coming off of an injury, thinking about moving him to a position he hasn't played? What? What? That's insanity. And a position that if he did move, you would then be moving Tyler Smith. So he'd, not, he'd be going from right to left and from tackle to guard. Because Zach Martin just got paid. He ain't going nowhere for another year or two at least. So you'd be playing Terrence Steele at left guard, just assuming he'd be a $15 million guard and hoping for the best. And you'd be moving my guy Tyler Smith, who has shown you he is not a good guard. He's a dominant guard. Back out to the spot where I believe he can do the job, but he becomes a big penalty guy like he was in college and in his rookie year. Leave Tyler Smith alone. But they've done things with their money. So anyway, like what can you do about Terrence Steele? <sighs> you could put Chuma Yadoga out there and see if he's better, and maybe he would be right this second. It's just a weird thing that NFL teams won't do because you just paid Terrence Steele a bunch of money that's going to last a long time, and to put him on the bench... It's just weird. It's just weird. Uh, okay, Dak. Let me see if I can go back and find the exact question. Dom, 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 dom. It was a question about Dak and predetermined reads. The answer to that is yes. Every quarterback's reads are predetermined. Every single quarterback in the entire NFL's reads are predetermined. When you look up and you see, especially on, I would assume this has to do with seeing the video on the internet of when he threw to Schoonmaker and he came up that short and on the other side of the field, Brandon Cooks came wide open because he and CD ran that route combination better than what he had on the left side. Um, and it would have been a, a butt naked slant touchdown. So what is happening there is yes, you are picking especially on plays where it is a mirrored route. They're running the same thing on both sides of the field. You are determining based on, where they're showing pressure from, and especially after the snap, when you see where pressure is coming from, you are determining off of where that pressure comes from, et cetera, et cetera. Like it's a textbook in a quarterback's head to which side of the field he's looking at. Now, in that case, unless I'm mistaken, I think they brought seven. I think it turned out to be, it was, it was straight up man with no safety help, I believe. And so... One, two, three, four. I'd have to go back and look at how they were lined up. I don't know what about that pressure when it's literally everyone, but it's probably the alignment of somebody that's coming that when he sees that, it becomes immediate. 
my first look is my main coverage here. Uh, and every play that they have, they know who is look one, look two, look three, and then, ah, let's see what happens. So, there's that. Um, but, 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 can't play left guard, though. Right, 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 right. right. Um, you want to replace Tyler Smith? I don't want to replace Tyler Smith. I want him to be the left guard for the Dallas Cowboys for the next 10 years. That's what I want. I really think all of our safeties have regressed, especially six and one from formula. I totally agree with that. 100%. Uh, Donovan Wilson hasn't played good football yet. Neither has J Ron curse. And they were both supposed to, it was supposed to be an area of strength and it is not an area of strength. Where did you get your hat from? Uh, I went to one of the Rangers ALCS games when they got their ass kicked, but I went with somebody who had seats that worked for Toyota Lexus, and we had we were sitting in our seats for a while, and then she got us into the, their suite, and they had stuff sitting on a table, and I stole it. That's how I got that. Uh, steals quick feet to like strength. Uh, I just I don't think Terrence Steele's not right all the way around, and when you're not right all the way around, you don't trust anything. Like, if you have quick feet. You're not getting beat inside for four sacks because you would be able to mirror that back when they cut inside. Um, he got back quicker than we thought. And that was probably just not true. I think there's a difference between a doctor saying you are cleared to do whatever and being ready to play NFL football, and that happens. So one of the reasons Terrence Steele, they were comfortable paying is because he is work real hard, first guy in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He does all those things. And so, like, I think he'll get back to what he was. But today, he is not. He just had a full-on Chaz Green game. That happened. Hooker was still balling. Hooker's played fine. Sam Williams always shows up in flashes. To your point, Vance. How is Mozzie on tape? There's a reason he doesn't play too many snaps. Uh, Mozzie is up and down, is what I would say. He has his flashes when he gets it right of, yeah, he can move people, but it's not a consistent thing because he's got to learn how to translate that versus people who know what they're doing better than he does and who he can't just totally ragdoll like he could college guys. Um, where was how would you grade our rookie class midway through the season? F minus, F minus. That's a lot of negatives for a guy who was on the radio today and had some really positive cowboy takes, which I do have right now. It's a good team. It would be way cooler if some of the things I, I hate the broadcasters who tell you I'm so right about everything. And they're actually, they've been wrong about a million things and they just ignore all of them. And then if a team wins a game that they said they were going to win, it's like, yeah, it's like, well, they were a 10 point favorite. You're a dumbass. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just making crap up. But like going into the season, that's a long winded way of me to say with, uh, pretending to be humble that I was right about stuff going into the season. There was stuff we talked about that this team needed. And there was stuff during the draft that we talked about what you'd like to see added to the team. And not only did they not do it, but what they did draft was the least valuable positions or as close as you could get to it without a special teamer or a running back with your first three picks. They picked a run and hit linebacker in the third round. In the second round, they picked a tight end who will never unseat Jake Ferguson and wasn't a starter until his fifth year in college. And the first round, they took a run stopper. And if they want to tell me that was the guys at the top of their board, okay, I'm not going to kill you for it. You're pretty good at drafting and developing Cowboys. But that was an unfortunate run. To go run, plug, D-tackle, back up tight end, run and hit linebacker. And I think Overshone will help this team. That that could end up looking like a fine pick. He looked good. He just got hurt. And that sucks. But you like to get impact from your rookie class, and the Cowboys are getting none. None from their rookie class. None. You elevate the ceiling of your defense if Sam can outproduce. Yeah, that's true. Hypothetical, since we're giving Bryant a chance, what do you think about seeing... No, Adrian, not Adrian Peterson. No, he doesn't have anything left. This guy's at least 31. But remember, like, Martavis Bryant didn't... He had, like, 14 catches in eight games in the XFL. Don't have expectations for him. If something good happens, that's cool. 
Were you down for Patrick Sertan as a trade? Uh, I was down to pick him if he was there. Sertan, let me get my years right. Sertan was the Micah year, right? Yeah. Sertan went like 8th or ninth or 10th. So did J.C. Horn or something like that. And Micah was 12. We traded down. Right? Yeah, and Devontae Smith was 11. I don't remember who was 10 that we traded away from. Um, doesn't matter. Um, but, 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 but. Still need a tackle and one? Yes, probably. Jeff, can I get that book Origin on your bookshelf? Sure. Have you heard if when an 89 is coming back? No, and I hadn't really thought about it in a while, honestly. What free agent running back could help us? None. They need to block better. They need to block better. They'll need to run back this offseason. And you just pick one in the third or fourth round, and then you pick one in the seventh round or undrafted, and you put them with Rico and competing with Malik, et cetera, et cetera, and you're fine. That's how Jeff does running back. That is how Jeff does running back. Uh, Justin Fields was 10. Is that the year we had the 10th pick? We traded with Chicago? No. Because we ended up trading. Why am I brain farting so bad? Because we ended up trading and deciding who between the Giants and Eagles behind us was going to get Devontae Smith by moving, knowing that so the Eagles traded to the Bears after they traded with Why am I drunk? I'm not drunk. It doesn't matter. None of that. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. More carries for Rico? Maybe. I could see that. We should move on from Tony Pollard. Oh, you're not giving Tony Pollard a long-term deal? No, no, no. We don't do that. We learned our lesson. We had to cut a guy that we gave the long-term contract to and owed a bunch of money to the cap for doing it. We don't give long-term deals. Smith was 10, Fields was 11. Yes, there we go. So the Giants would have traded out of 11 once they lost Devontae Smith. They wanted Devontae Smith. Then they gave it up to the Bears. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Look at us go. Thanks, guys. We did it. I don't think I have anything else to say or do right now. But it was good to see you guys. I like hanging out with you guys. You guys are my friends. I gotta get my better posture though. I swear I'm like I'm in good shape and I'm looking at myself on screen and I don't look it. I gotta get my wide arms, Michael Irvin, Kurt Warner style. This kind of stuff. Does that look better? I need to kind of get back though, but I can't because my mic's up here. Anyway. No, no mock draft. It's not time yet. Damn it. Chill out. Remember, you have no idea what anyone's going through. So be cool to everyone. We love you. I love you. Be easy.